Since the United States had entered the war in 1941, Hitler had feared an invasion of the German-occupied west coasts of Europe. In 1942, he began planning a gigantic operation, the construction of the Atlantic Wall, a continuous line of fortifications running almost 4,000 miles, from northern Norway to the Spanish border. Despite the fact that most Germans believed the Allies would try to land in the Calais region, only 25 miles from the British coast. The German authorities therefore requisitioned thousands of men, free laborers, Frenchmen in the compulsory work service, refugees, Jews and prisoners of war to carry out this outrageous project which would require 13 million tons of concrete. As 1943 drew to a close, Fortress Europe seemed to be firmly in German hands. Early in 1944, they were still unsure of where exactly the landings would take place. Eisenhower's arrival in London had nevertheless confirmed Hitler's fears of an invasion in the West. In 1942, he had appointed one of his most brilliant generals, the popular Erwin Rommel, to the rank of Field Marshal. After commanding the Africa Corps, the so-called Desert Fox had thwarted the British time and time again. So it was only natural for the Fuhrer to entrust this energetic soldier with reinforcing the defenses of Fortress Europe. By early 1944, Rommel was in France. With the Nazi Air Force stationed in Germany to counter Allied bombing raids, he was unable to use it in Normandy. So the theater of war would be the land and the beaches which he considered badly defended. Rommel wanted to fill in the gaps between fortified towns with a continuous line of defense. He also asked for the coast to be more heavily mined. But one mine is a mere drop in the ocean. When you consider that from Calais to Lower Brittany, France has 750 miles of coastline. While the Allies were united and grouped in Britain, Hitler was far from operations in his eastern HQ, close to the Soviet front. Worse still, he continued to divide, to rule. In the west, he split German command between Marshal von Rundstedt, chief of the Western Front, and Marshal Rommel, chief of coastal defense. But the two men disagreed. Von Rundstedt wanted to keep his armored divisions inland so they could converge on precise zones after the Allies had landed. Rommel believed that British and American aviation would paralyze German troop movements. He therefore wanted to bring the armored divisions as close as possible to the coast to confront the enemy as they were landing, but his wishes were rejected. He therefore focused on protecting the beaches and installing anti-tank obstacles. He also set up anti-landing craft barrages and chevaux de frise built from old railroad tracks, making any advance almost impossible. He even altered the terrain to impede the landings and movements of paratroopers. When possible, the Germans intentionally flooded land just inside the coast. 